check the bushings and all this stuff. Probably just replace them. There we are. Oh yeah. Taking almost no pressure at all to push that through. There. Collar's loose now. See how loose that is? Doesn't take much pressure at all. Ah! <laughs> There's the key. We're down to where the shaft is. So we need to find something longer. Well, before I go jacking that all the way down there, look at that. Haha, <laughs> the knurling here is getting caught in the bearing. Well, that tool got me one little bit of a distance farther. I think I can drive this out with a longer tool on the workbench. Let's go back there. Wow, these gears are still warm from the torch. Look what I found, a piece of copper. Perfect. Oh yeah, just fall apart now. Oh, these have bushings in them, so I'm going to have to check those. And where they're running on the shaft is a little worn. Look, can you see how much wear there is there? So let's measure. This should be a half inch shaft. Ooh. Okay. I've had this uh, caliper. There we go. Maybe we're going to move it fast. I don't know. There we go. Half inch shaft. 487, 486, so this was worn down 14 thousandths, so yeah, we're going to make a new one, this area here is worn down about a thou, so we may be fine. Now notice we have a flat on the shaft here for the set screws of those collars. And we have a, uh, another eighth inch keyway that doesn't go all the way across the shaft. So this will be an easy shaft to make as well. So what else do we have here? We've got this final drive output gear here. We need to, uh, it's got a snap ring on it here we need to drive off. That's a big enough snap ring that's probably not going to go anywhere, but I'm going to move my magnet down to the end. See if I can push it off. <clears throat> can I move it? Oh, wait a minute. Look, there's a slot. Let's see if I can somehow hold that gear still. <clears throat> Boy. That's being a bear. Jamming that stick in there with my belly. Hey, hey. Got somewhere. Put my magnet back here just in case.
Awesome. Put that with my other ring. Put my magnet back at the top of the screwdriver. Wheel collar. Okay, evidently there's some shaft damage here. This gear doesn't want to slide. Catches something there. That's right across the uh, keyway cutout. Still getting caught. Make sure there's no debris in the keyway. Be careful not pry against the teeth. There we go. any farther. Ah, okay, we're hitting the inside of the casting there. So I need to, I will space this collar back here out. I'll hold a nut in here to keep it from going in any farther. And this should allow me to drive that off a little farther. Oh, it sure ain't moving. I think I might be able to rig up a puller to do this. All right, we uh, we use this shaft to push on with the puller screw against that, and we tighten the collar on this. We tighten this set screw on the collar, hoping it wouldn't slip off, and we're using it to pull the tube out of the gear where it's stuck. And we ran out of throw with our screw here before we got it, the, sh the tube pulled all the way out of the gear. So I'm going to put that nut in there just to make our little center shaft there artificially longer. Look at that. I was that close. I was able to turn it by finger. So we got that off without any hammering. It's got two keyways in it. Boy, I'd hate to machine that. Wow. Boy, those keyways are sharp. <laughs> this has got a male keyway in it, too. Hope it isn't wore too much. Probably we can we can use it. I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out here. Yeah, it's a one inch shaft. In here it's uh, 097. So it is a little bit wore. Uh, that's not necessarily all that bad here. It can be bad in that we, if it's worn too much, we're not controlling the gear lash. But remember, this is being, this is turning our lead screw. And a little bit of play in all that mechanism is okay, just to take up for any non-straightness in the lead screw or any uh, slight misalignment in the setup with the lathe. So if I was going to have play anywhere, I want it there. But we're going to replace that bearing. Let's see what that bearing feels like inside, size-wise. Yeah, it's about three over. One over, three over. So we'll be tightening it up some just to replace that bearing. Mm. Oh, I was able to get that off without getting a bigger screwdriver. Or even the right kind of screwdriver. It's a Phillips, but it's a big one. Probably a number three. So that assembly's free. And this shaft seems to be pressed in here. I wonder if I can pull this gets oiler out. See if I can just push it out. Mm. 
Well, you don't want to move. Okay. Well, that collar in there is loose. That gear spins on the shaft. I don't see any pins pressed in through here. This shaft appears to be tight, like it's fixed in there. Oh, is that a set screw or an oiler? Well, that looks like a set screw. It is, it is. Good. I was hoping not to have to press that out. There we go. Shouldn't have to take it all the way out. Now, let's see if we can take our copper rod, our plastic hammer, see if that'll move now. Oh, yeah. Moved a little bit. Moved a little bit and then came to a stop. What's going on? Want to make sure. Okay, that slips on the shaft. Yeah, our collar's still loose, but it's turning a little tighter now. Let's lube it some. Try to drive it again. Oh yeah, coming out easy. This shaft looks okay. It's got a little bit of a ridge here. The shaft is drilled for the Getz oiler. We'll see. We probably won't have to remake that one. Our gear looks good. Rust washer. We'll check the bushings and all this stuff. Probably just replace them all. Well, there it is. It's probably enough for seven part series just taking that apart so I think we're going to call it there I'm going to clean this up thinking about changing the color of this lathe I don't like this tan so I think I'm probably going to strip it I'm going to hate repainting the whole thing but I think I will repaint what I come across as I go so I might as well strip this as part of our rebuild process so this has been Dave on the Crafted Channel. You now know how to take apart one of these gearboxes. You know what to look for as far as where, especially this shaft here, bottom counter shaft. We will uh, get all these parts cleaned up, evaluate everything thoroughly in the next part.